All right, everybody, this is game two of my second quick draft, just a Dominaria set this time. I won my first game, so round of applause for me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, um, let's get this thing going. Let's uh, try and get to that seven wins for the double prize pack. Yeah. You can click on a graveyard or exile zone to browse its contents. But of course, if the card is exiled without being seen, you will just see the back of a magic card. It's always frustrating when you don't know what you're missing. Okay, looks like a decent start. I get to go first. So, one of the things I was thinking about, and I didn't draw it in my first game, but after I went back and watched my draft, is that epic legendary red bomb the double red X spell. It's a legendary sorcery. I didn't notice that when I first picked it, and it's still in this deck, which means I need Hadna. Hada, whatever her name is. Because she's the only legendary I have in this deck, so if she's not on the board, I won't be able to cast that. That card, but it's alright. There she is. There she is. I don't really have anything valuable to play at this moment. <clears throat> it's nice I'm holding on to my eviscerate, but no swamp or my fixability. Just kicking back. But if I can hit him for two, any land would be perfect so I can get. Warlord Rada on the board. If I could draw that, it would be exactly what I need because I wasn't sure if I was going to keep Wild on something in the deck. Apparently I did. And then it's got the Elf Aim, which is great for kicked spells. Gives him a little bit of a ramp there. Oh, I have to resolve, of course, because I'm holding an instant that I can cast, so. There it is, beautiful. Pretty good start. Being able to get Grand Warlord Rada on the board. Her haste. Getting that damage in is real and ass. Real and ass, like. Oh, he also has a Rada. That's very interesting. Hmm. Hit me for three. Cool. Strange. I guess it makes sense because of the uh, land, but oh, I think it's a it'll pump them both. I don't really think that was the right way to go. <laughs> Kicker. Oh, I an instant. I should have played it before the damage went through. Oh well. That's, a, that's an oops. It's going to be at six.
Technically, he's got at least five mana. Six mana. Seven if he's trying to kick, which is actually pretty good. I can get my one fix ability card or my swamp. I can eviscerate Rada. Of course, this is just a black splashing deck. Gets the extra mana. Yeah, he's going to get to seven, some sort of kick. I'm sure, no blockers. Do you do the math wrong and think, oh darn, I need the two mana, but... It's not a kicked spell. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Why did it go to the graveyard? What the heck? That doesn't make any sense. There's nothing. Gain control targets you until end of turn on top of that creature gains haste on I should have gotten my creature back. That is some BS. That is some mega BS. That was a glitch for sure. It's not cool. Mega BS. No, sir, I don't like it. There's nowhere, no text, no card. I wonder if he knew about the glitch and then and was exploiting it. I'm going to have to let them know. It's good old beta games. Always having errors in them. I remember when I first started playing the beta, <coughs> there was a there was a blue spell. You could take control of creature that converted mana cost X, and I wanted to cast it for zero. And it wouldn't let me cast it for zero to take control of a token. It was really quite frustrating. And if he wins because of that, it's also going to be a little frustrating. I may still be able to pull this off. I'm basically playing top deck magic at this point. Um, he still has his Rada with the ramp. I do not. Um, he's low on his hit points where I have a little bit more to spend, but at the same time, it's not really that useful. Three cards into my library. One is going to be Rada, one's going to be Fervent Strike, and one is going to be Wild Onslaught. And then I get to draw a card, which hopefully will be a useful card for me. Of course, that Jaya's Immolating Inferno, which I cannot cast as it is. rough. It's such BS. I'm going to be complaining about that for the rest of this video, guys. I'm really sorry. Um, if anybody has any feedback or can tell me as to why Rado went to the graveyard and not back to my battlefield, 
um, other than a glitch, let me know what it was I'm missing. That is some baloney. See, now he's got five, six, seven, eight, nine, potentially ten, eleven. He's got. Gotta try and take her out. This is just ridiculous. Because when you hijack someone, you get them back. Rada didn't die. There was no trigger that he used. Of course. No matter which way you sliced it. I was going to lose them both that turn. That's good. Unacceptable. I still have two Rodas in this deck, but chances of pulling her is pretty slim. <clears throat> and he has a second Rada as well. What the... That is some baloney right there. And I don't have enough mana to cast the Thorn Elemental. That's that's baloney. Well, there you have it, guys. I lost because of a glitch in the game. Because I would have won had that not happened. Absolutely. Having lost the Rada. Unless, like I said, if there was a way, he, he had a way of being able to sacrifice the creature that I'm not aware of. I did not see any sort of text or card ability that let him be able to sack my, my Rada like that. So, um... Yeah, let me know what you think about it in the comments. I'm going to uh, report it. Oh, there it was. Report a bug. Right now in this video. Actually, okay. Well, we'll report a bug after the game plays over. So. <coughs> the way that, that goes. That's really unfortunate. Because I definitely had had control of that board until that happened so like I said if you uh, if you saw something I didn't as to why Rada went to the graveyard let me know in the comments below um, otherwise we'll see you in the next game